The best reaction from the Prime Minister. The acting police commissioner threatened to take the police service commission, the group in charge of hiring the police commissioner, to court because they have suspended him. And when I say the acting police commissioner, it could be a little confusing, but I'm not talking about the acting commissioner who's acting on behalf of the acting commissioner. I'm talking about the acting commissioner who was previously the real commissioner and is still an applicant to be the future commissioner. I know it could get a little confusing, but let's see if we could go through this. Three years ago, the police service commissioner on behalf of us, the people, hired a police commissioner on a three-year contract. But this whole thing is an extremely difficult and complicated thing to understand for simple minds like mine. Because I would have thought that if you hired someone on a three-year contract, you'd know that at the end of the three years, you'd either have to renew their contract or replace them. But it would seem like the end of this three-year contract after three years caught the police service commission off guard because they had to rehire him to act as commissioner until they found a new real replacement. And to make the whole thing all the more complicated, in his three-year contract, he had an allowance for some vacation leave in the three years and they waited till the three years expired to send him on vacation while he was acting as commissioner so then they would have to rehire a new commissioner to act for the acting commissioner now the legality of sending an acting commissioner on vacation leave may be before the courts and that's on top of the other matter where another applicant to be commissioner is suing the commission because he found that his resume was just too outstanding to be plainly rejected so even if the suspension matter does make it to the courts it will just be added to the long list and the general idea is that the commission does have the authority to suspend the commissioner but only if he's under investigation and there are ongoing investigations around the commissioner but none of them directly name him as being investigated. I, I, I was trying to follow you, but I'm you're losing me. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. How could a minister of national security be so lost, not be so misguided to make unauthorized comments and comments that are totally inaccurate? Uh, uh, the minister of national security, even a child, I will use his words in parliament, even a child will understand it better than he can. If for his information and for the country, I am still the acting commissioner of police. I was appointed by the police service commissioner, not the minister. He has no authority. He has no say. But I don't know why he's getting his mouth in this. The police service commission appointed me to act as the commissioner of police with effect from the 17th of August until the substantive position is filled, whoever that may be. Until then, I hold that position. Uh, when I went on leave, uh, I, I was still the acting commissioner of police, but I went on leave and uh, Mr. Jacob acted in my absence. It is no different, gentlemen, to when Stephen Williams was acting commissioner of police for six years and he will go to Australia for a month or go wherever. Somebody will act in his absence, but he was still the acting commissioner of police because that is what was given to him by the police service commission. So I'm still the acting commissioner of police in the same way when I went on leave from the 6th to the 20th of September. After the 20th of September, I am still the acting commissioner of police who is on leave. So in total contrast to the misguided, inaccurate, and false statements by the Minister of National Security, I am not a civilian, and, and he needs to stay in his crease and stick to what he may be good at, whatever that may be.